Clunky yet agile, heavy yet supportive. I think I understand why people are interested in wearing the New Balance 990 V5. However, I will never understand the price of this shoe despite its quality made materials. This shoe costs about $185 USD or about $260 Canadian. It's incredibly expensive for a shoe that not only does not look special, but it also does not feel special. But maybe that's the exact market they are going for. Those people who are interested in vintage quote unquote dad shoe trend that is nothing special yet still posh and high quality enough to pique their interest, in which the 990 V5 is a perfect fit for them. For me, however, no matter what the shoe is, comfort is number one. So here are the few comfortable things I found I liked about the 990 V5. Based on its construction, I think it's surprisingly flexible. The outsole has horizontal cuts similar to the Nike Free Run shoes. Though I'm not sure who came up with the idea first, I just like to reference the Nike Free Run because that's the first or closest thing I know as a reference point. The tongue and ankle area is really well padded with soft cushioned foam to hug your feet. The tongue especially so when you tie down the shoe really tight with the laces, it doesn't feel like it's choking your feet. It feels like a large teddy bear hugging you snugly. That being said, I don't think there's any technologies implemented into this shoe to prevent any kind of ankle roll because the ankle area does feel flimsy with the soft padding. With the emerging conversation between foot-shaped shoes or shoe-shaped shoes, I feel like this shoe is a foot-shaped shoe because I don't feel like my toes are confined to a pointy part of the shoe. It allows me to flex my toes with no issues. However, the top ceiling of the shoe is the only preventative measure. There are zones of comfort in the front half of the shoe and has a lot more cushioning than the back heel. The back heel, only the small portion of the center of your heel feels soft. However, the rest of your heel feels really tough and hard due to the end cap technology that's implemented into the padding of the shoe. The 990 shoe in its history was originally designed to be their top notch technology from New Balance. However, over the years, it has gotten a lot of traction in the lifestyle category. And over time, it had become both a lifestyle sneaker and a running shoe hybrid. The shoe offers an ortholite insole, which is a nice touch. In my short testing of walking in this shoe, it might be good for walking at moderate distances, but if you're standing on your feet all day, it'll definitely be tiresome slash numbing. The pig skin suede is very high quality and nice, and it'll offer an abrasive durability, but it will not offer the same quality of softness once it touches water, because suede doesn't really necessarily have a good reaction to water. And it's not necessarily a 990 V5 only issue. It's an issue with all types of different shoes with suede in it. Another plus of this shoe is that the suede construction is perfectly made where the upper will not crease where the ball of your feet bends. Overall, these technologies that New Balance has engineered into their shoe are for running, but this shoe was definitely inspired and reiterated over the years to also become a lifestyle shoe. In conclusion, for me, I don't think that this shoe is worth $260 or $185 USD. And this is just based on comfort and looks so if it is worth more to you because you're like let's say a new balance enthusiast or you want to be a new balance culturalist i think that it's really worth it to represent that type of lifestyle if that's what you're into otherwise i think it's just a little bit too much or too expensive for the type of shoe it is because you have watched my video this far you must like my content so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and also in the pinned comment down below, I added a food for thought question about new balances made in USA line, such as the 990 V5. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. This has been Billy Visuals. Y'all just got visualized and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.